Hello and welcome back to some more Twin Ring Motegi West here in the Arca series. Um, I wanted to do some more races and I figured why not record it, I guess, um, in case we get some really good racing or something. Uh, we're going to hop out for qualifying here. We are the number one, unfortunately, but there is higher participation than last time. Uh, last time, I to field was rookies and uh, it was a bit scary getting through and I'm sure we'll probably uh, have you know the uh, other guys that are off pace just a little bit maybe it'll be me I don't even know um, but uh, maybe a little bit uh, what was I saying um, maybe a little bit more stable since it's not single split this time so green, green, green. Oh, what was that lack of run up to the line? It's my fault for having to think of a hundred things at once. That's a little hard there, but that's okay. It's qualifying. Using the tires up. Got through there a little awkward. Could have been better, could have been worse. But uh, did get some more practice in. Uh, lowered my all time best just a tiny bit. Nothing too crazy for sure. But, uh, I'm certainly not at uh, the number two car's pace. In practice, he was getting a uh, 3 8 flat, which blows my mind. So, he's going to be gone, I'm sure. Sliding around a bit. But I think this might be a little bit better than the first lap. 6692A, 570. Okay, I'll take it. So, like I said, I'm sure we're going to be beat, beat out here in a moment. Uh, we do have Kyle in the race, Storm Surge, uh, another YouTuber, and nice guy. Enjoyed talking to him, part of like the larger Nick Neben, Gavin, <laughs> uh, you know, Griffin2448 larger community there. So, good to see him. Didn't plan on it, just happened to be running at the same time as him. But good to see him. Hope he has a good race as well. Oh, let's see who beat us. The number two <laughs> with the 38-2. That's absurd. But uh, 38-5, I can feel pretty good about. That was actually an all-time best. So, yippee! Now my uh, all-time optimal is a 38-3. So, even if I was perfect, I still wouldn't beat the number two. But at least I'm getting a little better. I'm actually gonna stay out here a little longer because I remember last time I was waiting around a while because it is qualifying road times, so you get eight minutes, even though these laps are shorter than several ovals. <laughs> kind of funny. But we'll just get a little bit more drive time in, think about some things. Maybe I'll learn something from the one, or from the two. I'm just here assuming he's the one because he's faster than me. Uh, but more likely he's just able to be really precise and do the things that I know I shouldn't do but just don't <laughs> so having a ton of fun here though at Twin Ring West very glad this has turned out to be a good combo <laughs> worry about others yeah it's it can be scary for sure um, when you end up around others and you will because it's a short track road course. Pretty funny. So, P2, and we've got about. We got over half a second up on third place. So, if I can keep steady and avoid mistakes, maybe I can pull away. That'd be really cool. I'd really enjoy being able to do that, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Um, the three. All the way back in 40.4. That's interesting.
I've really enjoyed it the time I've done it before, but uh, you just gotta watch out some of the uh, slower cars. You gotta be careful getting around them, because you will end up in lap traffic. That's my assessment. Hopefully my mic's recording. I didn't double check. <laughs> Before this one, I normally like to double check ever since it started, uh, not recording. <laughs> Let him go by first. Catch the pace car. It's really scary going through there, to be honest. About to go green, stay focused. Okay, pace Colton. car is Here off, time to do your job. Okay, could have been a better job. Green, green. Keep roads open. P2, you know how that works. Easing it into turn one like it. That's how I want it to be. I want to get Altim Optimal up. What am I doing? I use that. Interesting. He breaks a little earlier, a little harder than I do there and gets a better run down the straight. That's good to know. That could be useful information for me to use. Next car's the so we made it through lap one. Rejoice. <laughs> there you go. Anytime you do road racing, that's not a given. We have the nine behind us. Keeping up for now. A little bit earlier like he did. Seem to work pretty well. Gonna have to make a habit of that. So like I said, we got nothing for him. He's got this figured out, man. But, never know. Lap traffic will be a factor. So, that'll be something to look forward to. And uh, hopefully not get caught in too bad ourselves. Gonna remember my motto from last time, no light switch, meaning don't treat the throttle as a light switch. No on and off. Use it as a gradient. So that way you're not burning up the rears or anything crazy. Because it will hurt you later if you burn up the rears. They really, uh, tire spin's a real big deal here. On throttle. The gap to Rondoletto ahead is now 1.5 seconds. We're completely off of him. Of course, he might be just saving his stuff, too, knowing that he's got this in the bag so long as he doesn't make a mistake. The lap time was at 39.0. Very fun though, really, really love this configuration. It's a shame it took so long for anyone to even use it. So apparently it's been used in basically no series ever at all. <laughs> Based on some of Nick's research. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. See, that's uh... A new kind of way I'm trying to mimic what he's doing, exiting the final corner. Seems like it's a little easier to get loose on exit, but it can be faster. They've apparently been pretty clean back there because I haven't heard anything too crazy. I heard them discussing something happening near the start. I'm not sure what that was or 
what exactly happened, but hopefully Kyle's doing okay back there. I think I saw on Twitter he uh, posted that he got taken out in his first attempt at it. Your lap times are dropping off. Come on, stay focused. Of course they're dropping off. The tires are getting old, you fool. <laughs> but um. Oh my god, he's in fourth. Dang, he's fast. Okay. Or really good at passing or something. Both. Didn't he start, like... Maybe he didn't start as far back as I thought he did. I thought he started farther back. Maybe he didn't. And he's only gained a couple spots, but I, I thought for sure he was farther back. Either way. Charging forward. <laughs> nice. you love to see it. Rooting for him, of course. He has a little bit more luck this time. Two is riding off into the sunset. See, that time I was a little bit too safe with the throttle and it did get the car turned. Because I was trying not to uh, get it loose, but and instead it got tight because I didn't put enough throttle in it. So just trying to get that balance out of the final corner. Got to work out the kinks if I'm going to be trying to, something a little bit different during a race. Hitting the chicane. Difficult, but a very fun one to hit. That last lap was at 39.3. Easy on Carl. Alright, feels good. In front is now three point seven. Still haven't gotten to lap traffic. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was just that first race was kind of chaotic. Because of all the rookies. But we're not even halfway there, so... Then again, there's no one on our relative either. Not even seeing any blue names over there. That was a uh, 39.4. Be super interested in watching Kyle's race on his channel to see how he made his passes moving forward because it is tough to do. See if it was guys making mistakes or if he set them up. I think I might have to go back to my old way to take uh, the final <laughs> corner there. Maybe that's like a grippier tire line. <laughs> Because it feels like I'm not getting the turn off I need anymore. Overdrove that. Oops. Whoopsie. Drove that corner. We need to gather it together. I'm losing pace. I feel like it's all operator error too. That lap time was 39.6. All right, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Although my crew chief says that the uh, lap times are consistent, I feel like I was falling off a little bit. There's a lap car on that relative. Knew it was gonna happen sooner or later. But not nearly as quickly as it did in my last race, because the last race they were we were lapping guys on lap like three. Because they were wrecking and stuff.
hope it's a clean race back there. That'd be pretty cool. The three has had issues, fortunately. I was wondering if he just had a bad qualifying, maybe, and would charge up through the field. So I have to kind of save that a little bit. Um, and maybe he was, but ran into trouble on the way there. Of course, road eye rating maybe doesn't always translate perfectly to stock car road racing because it's uh, kind of like I told the guy before, it's very different. Oof. Shifted down too early. Almost died. Very different because the car is so heavy and all that. I don't know why I took that corner like a granny, <laughs> but that was really slow. I like took it really <laughs> wide for no reason. Great job, just okay, go. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. Still feeling good though, just being consistent. It'd be really cool to get a zero X. Makes me feel like I've got the place, you know, maybe not figured out because there's obviously a lot of speed I could gain, but uh, I like to feel like I uh, can keep it on track for a full event. Yeah. Oh man, the three and four have had troubles. Oh, sorry about that, three. Together. <laughs> that lap time was 39.7. Uh-oh, I think 9 might have had trouble behind us too, because they all of a sudden lost some time, although that could be the relative being quirky on a road course, because it can be like that sometimes. It do be that way sometimes. Maybe I'll go ahead and give like a thought process lap here, like a guide lap kind of idea on old tires. Lap uh, 18. So, braking markers and stuff I'll go through. Um, I uh, brake not at the white part of the curb on the left, but on where the blue part starts. And then you may be noticing I change my shifting every lap pretty much. As I go through there, just depending on what feels safe. And then here, I can't even really give a good indication of where my brake marker is. I kind of like to use my relative, which is kind of not helpful to other people. Like as soon as it flashes green, meaning I've pushed it a little bit more. <laughs> it's kind of when I'm using it. But uh, I, I really, there's really no good brake marker that I like to use that I can really find there. But essentially, it's just like halfway between where the lighter part of the pavement ends and that first line there. You don't want to wait to the first line, it's really, it's nearly impossible to get it slowed down enough in time if you use that line. So... I like to use... Ooh! Alright, running up the rears, take it easy. So I kind of do it halfway between those two spots that I mentioned. I'll Just kind of uh, go over it again points. here, this next lap. So you see, like, the pavement gets a little bit lighter right here, and as soon as it ends on this left side, halfway, tw halfway between that and that white line. I don't know where I'm doing it. I'm going slower because I'm doing a guide kind of lap right now instead of uh, paying attention fully, but I think we're safe where we are. We're not passing on anyone, and we're not getting past. In fact, we get some lap track coming up, so I will have to pay attention during that, but... So, where the blue part starts here, give it a good, solid break. Gonna aim for this first apex. And try to cut down and get a good run back off. Number two, potentially getting held up. Up there. And you aim for this apex. And uh, kind of drive straight almost. Kind of have to trust that you're going to get to the next apex because 
It's kind of blind. You can't see the second half of this chain. Makes it a little bit tr more tricky. But uh, it's actually, it could be a pretty good place to learn road racing in an ARCA car because while it's quite tough, there are only a couple corners. It's very short. And so um, if you take the time to practice, you can learn the corners. And it's not like a huge, long lap. Like other, some other places where you have to memorize like 13 corners or something. So it's tough, but I hope uh, it doesn't discourage anyone from giving it a try. In fact, last time I was like kind of singing the praises like, hey, if you want to give this a try, we'll do Winring next season. I kind of thought about it, and it's like, let me be clear, I am a little bit incentivized to get people participating, because more particip participation means more competitive races and stuff, so I have a conflict of interest in terms of your buying power, because I want to see you out here and race you. <laughs> but uh, I do enjoy both this combo here, and I do really enjoy Twin Ring Motegi Oval as well. But it probably, after next season, once we go back to Twin Ring Oval again, we're probably not going to see it again for a while. So just be aware of that. Um, part of why this was so exciting is because... Hold on, let me get by this guy. White flag. One more left to go. He's gonna let me by. <laughs> wow, he's just not gonna let me by, huh? Okay, Colton. Okay. I mean, I guess I got no one we'll tailing me anything right now. So. Anyway, um, we're probably not gonna be coming back here in any oval cars for a long time. Twin ring. So just be aware of that too. If you're looking for like something that's gonna get a lot of purchasing power. We scheduled Twin Ring a couple seasons in a row to make it more worth it, but probably won't see it again for a while, so just be aware of that. Anyway, as the three gets loose off of the final corner, giving it too much gas, <laughs> we will pull it into second. Good race, good win, I had nothing for you, number two. Great huh. drive, that's a podium. Alright, there's the ticket flag. Good race. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's very, very fast, good job. apparently. Very good job. So. Zero X, love it. Kyle got a fourth. Awesome. That's awesome. Love to see it. Got himself a top five, and I believe he started outside of the top five, so. He was saying he's not even worried about his pace. Your name in the top five. <laughs> yeah, it was cool seeing his name pop up. <laughs> so, uh, all right, zero X race. We got ourselves a P two. Uh, had nothing for the number two, but uh, kept it clean. Got some distance. Um, feel like I used up the tires a little more. I actually didn't. I thought I used the tires up more than I did last time, but apparently I was better about not burning them up. But uh, then again, last race I did slide a couple times trying to avoid lap cars and stuff, so that probably had a lot to do with it. But, uh, alright, awesome. Anyway, just to conclude what I was saying, um, you know, if you're looking for maximum value, you're going to get it short term, but probably not long term if you want to buy this place. But it is very fun. I enjoy both this course and the oval. But just know that NASCAR is probably not going to come back here for a while. Just wanted to give that other side of the story, too. But, incidents. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's right. The uh, chicane's going to show up a whole lot because uh, it likes to show when people hit these curbs, which the fast, consistent guys are going to be hitting every lap, probably. So, there's the four. Just a little bit of cutting by accident. They ended up having some issues, so we'll see what happened to them.
is Kyle being quick. Moved from 7th, I believe it was, for a 4th place finish. So, he said it was a drama-free race. Glad to hear that. That's what I was hoping for. And we have a boring race. Yeah, I saw the first attempt. Didn't go. Wow. And this was better. And then I will say thanks for it. Alright, so, sorry. Being friendly, doing the friendlies. So, <laughs> let's see ya. What else we got? Curbs. Gonna zoom past these because I know these aren't real incidents, most likely. So we'll just see if there's, like, close potential contact. I'm thinking it was a pretty darn clean race, though. So you didn't hear anyone yelling too much, and uh, it's not because I forgot Butte was on this time. Right? Okay, yeah, it was not on. <laughs> Had to double check. That's, uh... Pretty good stuff. It seems maybe people are figuring out a little bit, know how to not crash a whole bunch. It's only uh, Tuesday, but it's not, not uh, everybody's first attempt. For example, it was not my first attempt, so maybe it could have been a little more smooth, you know, this time around. Oh, a little bit of a cut there. Still have not seen what happened to the three or the four. I know they got into each other in some way or fashion later in the race because I heard them apologize. I'm so not sure what it was about. Maybe they just had spun out in front of each other or something. Okay, quickly, quickly, don't need to see all this chicanery. Just, I can't go too fast or it'll break. Oh! There's a little bit of a mistake right there through the chicane. Three accidentally cuts it right there. Gonna have to give up some time. What a clean race, though. Oh, there's a mistake from the four. Is this where they get into each other? No, not quite. Just a mistake there. It looks like they entered a little hard, maybe, or had the brake bias too far back for their handling. And lost it. Maybe they even shifted down too early. Looks like they, uh... Oh, no! No! That stinks. Of course. Oh, his microphone didn't record. I am... Very familiar with that feeling. Might still upload anyway with a disclaimer. Yeah. Hmm. Hope you still do. I'll still watch. That stinks. That just happened to me a couple of times recently, so. I know I'll be watching his race, whether it's got commentary or not. There's five looping it. <laughs> At 11th. I just uh, couldn't get it slowed down in time and then probably turned the wheel too hard maybe, trying to desperately get it to turn. Who knows exactly what happened there. Lots of things can go wrong in road racing when you gotta brake and turn in and slow down the right amount. Tires are hot so we slide a bit. Zooming through this chicane again. Already on lap 19 looks like, so... Not too much longer to go of watching chicane taking. 
I haven't seen this guy at all. He's had a clean race, too. I think the incidents have something out for me, because it doesn't want to show me ever. Even me just going through the chicane. It's like, nah, get, get that guy off the TV. What goes through there? A little messy. Seems like it was a remarkably clean race compared to the first one I did. So we are seeing a whole lot of nothing. I'm definitely going to go check on either the... We got a pass going on. Check on either the three or the four. See what they were uh, apologizing about. See what happened there if it didn't show up in the incidents. It happened pretty late in the race though. I think. Wow, just sliding through the corner. Really, that's what I'm saying. You really gotta protect those rears or you're just not even gonna be able to get back on the gas later in the race. Couple of last lap troubles for some guys. Or maybe not last lap, but it was close to the last lap. Speaking of, we haven't seen Kyle either, so you probably he must have had a really clean race too at least i don't remember seeing kyle and two celebrating their win as they should because they kicked some booty <laughs> doing wild burnouts Ooh, didn't even hit the wall calculated figured it out now they're gonna reverse into their stall stunting on us over here while the 11 is still finishing or maybe just practicing a little bit after the race is over who knows? But that was it. So, um, like I said, I, I'm going to try to see if we can figure out what happened uh, with a three and four, because I don't think we ever saw what happened there, unless he was apologizing for spinning out, and then the guy had to go around, maybe. That could have been it, too. But, uh... It sounded like they were apologizing for something more, so I don't think the incidents work too well here, unfortunately, but we will take the extra bit of time just to check. See what happened. Maybe it was oh a bad rejoin, perhaps. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Bad rejoin. That's all it was. That was our big messy, messy incident there. And I can I guarantee you these were almost all just off tracks. So just a completely different <laughs> experience from the first race in terms of cleanliness. Kyle just gets one. 1x so very well done there and uh we get ourselves a p2 silver medal kept it clean kept it on track and uh, got a nice finish so all right that was some good fun again loved it i hope you enjoyed watching as well and i hope my microphone recorded we'll find out here in a minute or i will you'll find out when it's uploaded i guess if it gets uploaded at all and uh i hope you have a good rest of your day i'll see you next time